Hey everyone, in this video we have the Dual XGPS 160 SkyPro Bluetooth GPS receiver, and I want to show you a little bit about working with the trip log with this device. I've already paired this with the Apple iPad Mini with Retina Display, but this will work with a large number of devices, both Apple and Android. The XGPS 160 is capable of recording a trip log, which you can start by triple tapping the power button and that light's going to turn to a solid orange and that's basically going to record where you've been. It's going to save all of those coordinates. It's not going to give you all of the information that say a Garmin track log will give you like your elevation and your bearing but it will save those coordinates which you can then transfer to the SkyPro app and then export as a KML file and do whatever you need to with that data. To stop recording, we can triple tap the power button once again. Or there is actually a way you can set it up so that you don't have to start and stop manually. If you go into the SkyPro app, we can go to our settings, and down here it says always record position when turned on. If you have that set to yes, you won't have to worry about triple tapping the power button. We can get all that information from the XGPS 160 by selecting trips down here at the bottom. That's going to bring all that information over to our iPad. And here we have all of our trips listed over here on the left with the date and the time. So I can select any one of these to view some more information. Here we have the name, which we can edit if we want. We have the time that the trip log started, the duration, the time that it ended, the number of data points, and the speed. Down here at the bottom, we have some more options as well. You can delete this from the SkyPro. You can save it to the app so the data doesn't have to transfer every time that you open it up. You can view it on a map. This is just a map within the SkyPro app. Or you can share it, which is what you would choose if you wanted to export this information, again, as a KML file. Note that there is only one way to export it. That is through email, so you will need internet in order to do it. And there are some different things that you can do with this information after you have exported it. For example, I have an app here on my iPad. This is Galileo. This is a mapping and navigation app. So here I have imported that trip log to it. There are some different things that I can do with it here. For example, I can go into my menu here on the side and I can share it again. So if I want wanted to, I can send a link to someone via email and have this trip log available for them to view on a map. Again, this is through the Galileo app. Or I can also export this same trip log in a different format. I can export it as a GPX file. Maybe I want to use it in Basecamp. It's really up to you what you want to do with this information. You can also view the raw KML data. So here I actually have in my email, this is what that KML information looks like. A whole lot of GPS coordinates. Well, if you so choose, you can actually copy and paste that data into a spreadsheet. Again, it depends on your needs. It depends on what you are trying to do with this information. And these are just a few different options, but it's pretty much up to you what you're going to do with it. So that is a quick look at how to work with a trip log on the Dual X GPS 160 SkyPro Bluetooth GPS receiver.